I will not make any more boring art. I will not make any more boring art. This is repeated over and over again down the length of a sheet of paper and originally down the length of a wall in column after column. Clearly, this is like a schoolroom punishment. I will remember to do my homework, written over and over and over again. We're talking about a work of art that was made by an artist whose name is John Baldessari, that was made in 1971, first in the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. This is basically a form we already know. We know it as a schoolroom punishment. So how is it trans? transformed into art. Well, I think that the idea that it was in a gallery, that context was really important to the artist. He actually has spoken about how he takes his word images and makes them on canvas to give them that frame of reference. So yeah, this is different than if it was on a blackboard in a school. Let's think about the words for a second, because it's not, I will not speak out in class. It's, I will not make any more boring art. It's self-punishing. He's looking at his career and saying, I made some bad art, and in the future, I'm not going to make any more bad art. And he had apparently originally written this sentence in his own private notebook, and that was the <laughs> genesis of this. But I think it's important to understand this within the broader context of his early career. So Baldessari had been taught, I think like so many art students, to create in a kind of abstract expressionist style. So we're talking here about Mark Rothko, about Jackson Pollock, artists who were making what I think of as very serious art in the 1950s. Well, what this artist did was in 1970 to gather up all of the canvases that he owned of his own work. These were abstractions, there were landscapes, and then together with some friends and some art students of his, he brought them to a crematorium and he had them burned like we burn bodies. And then he took the ashes and he put them in an urn. And this was a way of creating, I think, a really stark rupture in his career between this older style and and his mature, much more conceptually oriented work. There is a, a way in which art was painting still, even in the 1960s, to make art you painted. In I Will Not Make Any More Boring Art, so labeling that as boring and saying I'm going to do something different going forward. But even using the word boring is hilarious and off limits. It's true. Because, you know, in the serious nomenclature of the art world, you don't use words like boring. And so there's a kind of directness and a, a kind of humor that's incorporated in this kind of deep irony. And you can see that as an artist, the real challenge would be, what is interesting art? What does it mean to make art that's sincere and engaging and clever and new? It was all also about the qualities of new conceptual art. If you think about, for instance, the work by people like Saul LeWitt, where there's a kind of cool clarity, which is also at the same time boring, although you're not allowed to say that. And so there's something wonderfully ironic, but also irreverent about this.